Lee Dian has a problem. He has too much muscle. Too lean, too much muscle mass. And because of that, despite being a world record holder and a world champion, an inability to go to the Olympics. But why does having too much muscle mass cause him so much grief? While filming at the World Championships, I had conversations and heard conversations about Lee Dian and the fact that he wasn't competing as an 89 kilo lifter, but rather as an 81 kilo lifter. Also, make sure you like and subscribe. So for those of you who are out of the loop, the previously extremely competitive 81 kilo weight category lost its Olympic status last year. And in its place, the International Olympic Committee accepted the heavier men's 89 kilo category which was previously a relatively non-competitive category for the reason that you couldn't compete in the Olympics there. All of the best 81s moved up and all of the best 96s moved down and as of this moment the 89 kilo category is the most competitive category on the men's side with four world record holders competing. Well, I say all of the best 81s moved up but that's not quite true because Lee Dain hasn't yet moved. It turns out that Lee Dayin is struggling to make his way up to the 89 kilo category. To do so, he'll need to gain another 8 kilos, nearly 18 pounds in body weight, ideally the vast majority of which is muscle mass. But he can't. When you look at Lee Dayin, he looks different to the rest. It's no mystery why, after his first session at the World Championships training hall, the Colombian women's team, who were training at the same time, all came over to Lee Dayin, who was at that point training topless, to get photos with him. Lee Dayin has a remarkable amount of muscle mass on his frame. When you compare him to the other top 81s in the world, like Marin Robu, Kim Woo Jae, Rejipe Rejipov, he makes them look like untrained individuals by comparison. By being such a low body fat percentage, I don't know what body fat percentage he is, somewhere around 9%, he holds more muscle mass than his competitors. Now, leanness isn't a particularly good predictor of performance in a weight category. There are plenty of Olympic champions without visible abs, but more muscle mass rarely hurts. It's just whether the cost of gaining the mass outweighs the loss in other trainable qualities. Lee Dayen is clearly the strongest 81 kilo lifter in the world, but he isn't close to being the best technically. That's not to say he has bad technique, of course he moves well, but in comparison to other top 81s, he doesn't stand out for his movement. He has the biggest pull, he drives the bar higher than anyone in the jerk, and he stands up the easiest in the clean. But he can't gain any more muscle mass. Sure, he could probably get up to 89 kilos by stuffing his face even more, which supposedly he finds very difficult, but he will likely only gain fat, almost no muscle mass, which won't help him lift any more weight. It will only aid in him being a less competitive weightlifter. To be truly competitive in the 89 kilo category, he doesn't need to improve his snatch. I mean, his world record of 175 kilos at 81 is basically the top of the pack for the 89s anyway, but his clean and jerk will need to go up by 10 kilos, potentially more like 15 kilos, as the category truly matures over the following year or two. The old trope that mass moves mass doesn't really make sense when the mass is fat mass unless you're performing an exercise like a sled push where the weight of the body adds to help move the sled. Ultimately, mass moves mass is a proxy for more muscle mass moves mass. Carlos Nassar, Antonino Pizzolato, Tian Tao and maybe Liu Huan Hua will all push over 220 kilos in clean and jerk. And that brings us to another issue. The 89 kilo category already has two Chinese lifters, and three cannot compete together at future competitions. With world champion and world record holder Tian Tao supposedly returning to competition soon, a man who clean and jerked 218 kilos at 85 and 231 kilos at 96, as well as Liu Huan Hua, who made an enormous 215 kilo clean and jerking competition, it looks risky for Team China to select a 206 kilo clean and jerker like Li Dai Yin. Liu Huan Hua can't cut to 81, he's too big. 
and Tian Tao was the number one choice at that category at 89. So what's Li Dayan going to do? I assume he'd stick at 81 and rack up gold after gold, becoming a multiple time world champion. But his new Instagram profile is Li Dayan 89 kg So is he going to give it a shot or not? I don't know, but I look forward to hopefully seeing him try. An 89 kilo Li Dayan will be a lot of fun to watch. What do you think he should do? Make sure to like and subscribe.